The M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System is a light multiple rocket launcher developed in the late 1990s for the United States Army, mounted on a standard Army M1140 truck frame. The HIMARS carries six rockets or one MGM-140 ATACMS missile on the U.S. Army's new family of medium tactical vehicles FMTV five-ton truck, and can launch the entire multiple launch rocket system family of munitions MFOM. HIMARS ammunition is interchangeable with the MLRS M270A1, however it is only able to carry one pod rather than the standard two for the M270 and A1 variants. It was designed as a small, mobile, MLRS, with the ability to shoot and scoot. The launcher is C-130 transportable. The chassis is produced by BAE Systems Mobility and Protection Systems formerly Armor Holdings Aerospace and Defense Group Tactical Vehicle Systems Division, the OEM of the FMTV. The rocket launching system is produced by Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control. <laughs> <laughs> Deployment The M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System is the light, wheeled version of the M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System The HIMARS utilizes the same pod as the M270 MLRS uses. A pod can hold six rockets or a single missile. The windows are made of glass and layers of sapphire. The 18th Field Artillery Brigade, Airborne, at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, was the initial Army test bed unit for the M142 HIMARS. C Battery, 3rd Battalion, 27th Field Artillery Regiment began field testing three HIMARS prototypes in all types of training events and environments in 1998 as a residual of the Rapid Force Projection Initiative (RFPI) Advanced Concept Technology demonstration ACTD. In 2002, the United States Marine Corps arranged with the United States Army to acquire 40 of the systems. Fielding began in 2005. In July 2007, Marines from Fox Battery 2nd Battalion 14th Marine Regiment from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma were deployed to the Al Anbar Province of Iraq, the first Marine unit to use the HIMARS in combat. HIMARS was also tested as a common launcher for both artillery rockets and the SLAMRAAM surface launched variant of the AMRAAM anti aircraft missile. In October 2017, a Marine Corps HIMARS fired a rocket while at sea against a land target for the first time from the deck of the amphibious transport dock USS Anchorage, LPD 23, demonstrating the system's ability to operate while on ships to deliver precision fire from a standoff range. From shore defenses. The vehicle's targeting software was reworked so it can better fire while on a constantly moving and maneuvering launch platform. <laughs> Singapore As of September 2007, the Singapore Army proposed to acquire HIMARS systems. The package includes 24 HIMARS launchers, 9 FMTV 5-ton trucks and XM31 unitary HE GMLRS pods, plus associated support and communications equipment and services. This proposed package is notable for not involving the M26 unguided MLRS rockets. In late 2009, Singapore took delivery of the first HIMARS firing unit and achieved full operational capability. The 23rd Battalion, Singapore Artillery commissioned its HIMARS battery on 5 September 2011. It marks the first fully GPS-guided HIMARS unit. <laughs> <laughs> Operational history On February 14, 2010, the International Security Assistance Force ESAF for Afghanistan indicated in a press release that it was thought that two rockets fired from a HIMARS unit fell 300 meters short of their intended target and killed 12 civilians during Operation Moshtarik. ESAF suspended the use of the HIMARS until a full review of the incident was completed. 
A British officer later said that the rockets were on target, that the target was in use by the Taliban, and use of the system has been reinstated. Reports indicate that the civilian deaths were due to the Taliban's use of an occupied dwelling. The presence of civilians at that location was not known to the ISAF forces. An October 21, 2010 report in the New York Times credited HIMARS with aiding the NATO offensive in Kandahar by targeting Taliban commanders' hideouts, forcing many to flee to Pakistan, at least temporarily. In November 2015, the United States Army revealed they had deployed the HIMARS to Iraq, firing at least 400 rockets at the Islamic State since the beginning of summer. HIMARS detachments were sent to Al Assad Air Base and Al Takadam Air Base in Anbar Province. On the 4th of March 2016, Army HIMARS fired rockets into Syria in support of Syrian rebels fighting ISIL for the first time, with the launches based in neighboring Jordan. In January 2016, Lockheed announced the HIMARS had reached 1 million operational hours with U.S. forces, achieving a 99% operational readiness rate. On April 26, 2016, it was announced that the U.S. would be deploying the HIMARS in Turkey near the border with. Syria as part of the battle with ISIL. In early September, international media and the U.S. State Department reported a newly deployed HIMARS had engaged ISIL targets in Syria near the Turkish border. In October 2016, HIMARS were stationed at Kayara Airfield West, some 65 kilometers south of Mosul, taking part in the Battle of Mosul. On June 14, 2017, a HIMARS was deployed at Al Tanf Syria to support U.S. backed rebels in the area. On May 24, 2018, a HIMARS strike killed 50 Taliban fighters and leaders in Musa Qala, Afghanistan. Three rockets precisely struck the building within a 14 second time span. Starting in September 2018, U.S. support forces have been coordinating with Syrian Democratic Forces fighting to defeat ISIS in East Syria in the Deir ez Zor campaign. On a daily basis, they have struck ISIS positions with HIMARS rockets, sometimes using as many as 30 rockets per day. The HIMARS systems used in this support operation are located in the Omar oilfields, some 25 km north of the ISIS-controlled targets. <laughs> <laughs> Specifications Topic. Related developments Lockheed Martin UK and INSYS had jointly developed a demonstrator rocket artillery system similar to HIMARS for the British Army's Lightweight Mobile Artillery Weapon System – Rocket program. The system consisted of a single MLRS pod, mounted on a Supercat SPV-600 chassis. The LIMAWS -R programs was cancelled in September 2007. Operators Current operators United States United States Army USA Active duty 17th Field Artillery Brigade 17th Fab 5th Battalion 3rd Field Artillery Regiment 5 to 3 Road Far 1st Battalion 94th Field Artillery Regiment 1 to 94 TH Far 18th Field Artillery Brigade 18th Fab 3rd Battalion 27th Field Artillery Regiment 3 to 27 TH Far 3rd Battalion 321st Field Artillery Regiment 3 to 321 Stone Far 75th Field Artillery Brigade 75th Fab 1st Battalion 14th Field Artillery Regiment 1 to 14 TH Far Army National Guard ARNG 45th Field Artillery Brigade 45th Fab OKARNG 1st Battalion, 158th Field Artillery Regiment 1 to 158th TH Far OKARNG 
4th Battalion, 133rd Field Artillery Regiment, 4 to 133 Road Far, TXARNG. 65th Field Artillery Brigade, 65th Fab, UTARNG. 5th Battalion, 113th Field Artillery Regiment, 5 to 113 TH Far, NCARNG. 115th Field Artillery Brigade, 115th Fab, WARNG. 1st Battalion 121st Field Artillery Regiment 1 to 121 Stone Far YARNG 2nd Battalion 300th Field Artillery Regiment 2 to 300 TH Far YARNG 130th Field Artillery Brigade 130th Fab KSARNG 2nd Battalion 130th Field Artillery Regiment 2 to 130 TH Far KSARNG 138th Field Artillery Brigade 138th Fab KYARNG 3rd Battalion 116th Field Artillery Regiment 3 to 116 TH Far FLARNG 1st Battalion 623rd Field Artillery Regiment 1 to 623 Road Far KYARNG 142nd Field Artillery Brigade 142nd Fab RARNG 1st Battalion 181st Field Artillery Regiment 1 to 181 Stone Far TNARNG 169th Field Artillery Brigade 169th Fab COARNG 3rd Battalion 157th Field Artillery Regiment 3 to 157 TH Far COARNG 197th Field Artillery Brigade 197th Fab NHARNG 3rd Battalion 197th Field Artillery Regiment 3 to 197 TH Far NHARNG 1st Battalion 182nd Field Artillery Regiment 1 to 182 ND Far MARNG United States Marine Corps 11th Marine Regiment 5th Battalion 11th Marines 14th Marine Regiment 2nd Battalion 14th Marine Singapore Singapore Army 24 23rd Battalion Singapore Artillery 23 SA United Arab Emirates United Arab Emirates Army 20 Jordan Jordanian Army 12 29th HIMARS Battalion Jordan Royal Artillery Command Topic Potential and future operators Canada's Department of National Defence considered the purchase of HIMARS. The former Chief of the Land Staff, Lt. Gen. Andrew Leslie, said the plan to acquire rocket launchers was something that would be considered much further down the road—possibly in the 2012 time frame. Qatar in December 2012, Qatar notified the U.S. of a possible foreign military sale of seven M142 HIMARS systems, as well as 60 M57 MGM 140 ATACMS Block 1 AT2K unitary rockets and 30 M31A1 guided multiple launch rocket system GMLRS unitary rockets. The deal would cost an estimated $406 million. Poland new multiple launch rocket system. Program WR300. Homar. Poland. Multiple launch rocket system cooperation between Huta Stalowa Wola, ZM Mesko and Lockheed Martin. 160 launches are to be acquired, and to be mounted on a Jelch 663 6x6 chassis. In October 2018, Poland officially requested the purchase of the rocket launchers, after the U.S. Department of Defense cleared the purchase of up to 56 launchers in November 2017. On 29 November 2018 U.S. State Department approved the sale to Poland. Romanian 2017 The U.S. State Department has authorized the sale of 54 HIMARS launch vehicles, related resupply systems and ammunition to Romania. In February 2018 the Romanian government approved the purchase. 
Filipinas The South China Morning Post, citing a report from the Center for a New American Security on an article dated 2 April 2019, said that the governments of the Philippines and the United States are discussing the potential sale or deployment of the HIMARS to the former to deter China's militarization of artificial islands in contested areas of the South China Sea. If deployed, the long-range, precision-guided rockets fired by the system would be able to strike Chinese man-made islands on reefs in the Spratly Islands. However, the two sides have been unable to reach a deal because the HIMARS could be too expensive for the Philippines given its limited budget. See also List of U.S. Army rocket launches by model number Astros 2 MLRS BM-27 Multiple Launch Rocket System BM-30 Multiple Launch Rocket System M-26 Artillery Rocket M-270 Multiple Launch Rocket System SR-5 A-100 A-200 TOS-1 Multiple Launch Rocket System 9A52 to 4 tornado